Hey guys, it's Red Momster, and today I am back with yet another survival-friendly realistic creation. Now, if you remember my last video, I made a working toilet in survival-friendly Minecraft. Today I am- why is there a hole in the roof? Today I am here in a kitchen with a working microwave. That is this anomaly over here. Now, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look like a microwave. I tried my best, okay? I just wanted to not be a furnace. I don't want the same thing that is in my, you know, armory smelting my iron to be the same thing that's in my kitchen. So uh, this is what I went for. You know, it turned out pretty well. I kept it contained to one single box the best that I could, considering I used a bunch of things that attached to a block. Basically, it was a glass block with a minecart hopper in it with uh, a bunch of... You know, this is an item frame with a black map in it and stuff like that. So there's uh, an item frame with a daylight sensor as the handle that opens it and stuff like that. And there's also a little sign with some textures right there and a carpet on top. That is my microwave, yes. <laughs> now, uh, this thing does work, of course, like I said. If we put in, uh, say, some baked potatoes, or potatoes, I guess, and it even says microwave right here, nice and fancy, uh, they just sit there. And they just sit there because that's how microwaves work, right? They don't... Uh, start cooking until you turn it on. Now you turn it on by stepping on this pressure plate and of course they get sucked down into the actual system itself. Now uh, it'll take a little bit to cook but uh, basically you'll hear a noise right away and that basically signals that one is done. Just like so. Now that uh, baked potato is going to not be in this hopper because it's uh, in a dispenser behind it and by hitting this button once that then gives us a baked potato. Now the rest of them are going to be cooked while I explain this. This is a little smoke signal basically that identifies that this microwave is now cooking food. Uh, I could use like a redstone lamp uh, lighting up and some and stuff like that but I thought this was pretty cool because it makes the sound of cooking right and it also you know it's different you know it's not just a redstone lamp I think it looks nice and modern and stuff like that. Uh, now we have the rest of our potatoes cooked and we can give them uh, a button input you know just by giving one at a time but if we cook a lot of things we just hit this lever and doing that uh, basically spits them all out and uh, the reason I have a lever and a button is because this lever sounds annoying as hell uh, so if you just need to cook like a couple things you can just use the button if you want <laughs> but uh, that's basically the entire system and that's how it works there's also uh, a hidden input right here for fuel uh, just to make it seamless so we don't have to have a hopper somewhere that transports coal that coal is then transported to the system to automatically go into the furnace that is behind the scenes now if we come out here Basically, this is a lot smaller than the toilet, right? We got the toilet over there. This is nothing, <laughs> right? Very compact, in my opinion. I tried my best to compact it anyways, considering it's a lot easier to make. There was no intricate timing things I need to do. It's basically just an auto smelter connected to a fancy ish microwave. <laughs> but uh, basically, we're going to start where the items go in. So if I make a little hole here, we can see that there is an item hopper right here. Now, this minecart right here is directly on top of this item hopper. So the reason they're not going into the uh, item hopper right away is because there's a torch here and this torch is powering this block which is then powering the hopper and when a hopper is powered it does not suck items in. So these will then sit in this microwave uh, until I step on this pressure plate. Now the reason I wanted to add that little lock-in thing and stuff uh, is because I wanted the output which basically means the baked potatoes to enter the or to end up the same place where they entered which is this minecart hopper so there is one input for the entire system uh in terms of putting items in for food which means i put the big i put the potatoes here and then i get baked potatoes in here after it's done which is cool in my opinion it ends up just like a furnace kind of uh so basically when i step on this pressure plate uh, i deactivates this which means it allows items to flow through and when the items flow through they uh well the food first of all comes straight across here and ends in the top because the top is uh, you need a hopper to coming you need a hopper to uh, attach the top of a furnace for food to go in. Uh, if you attached it from the side, coal would go in or you know stuff like that. So this is where the coal comes from. And basically the the hidden input per se uh, is just using a uh, oh I broke something down there. Anyways, uh, is basically just using the uh, stair hitbox glitch uh, that is commonly known uh, where you can click through the stair and just click the hopper that says fuel I suppose. So when the fuel goes in it goes into the side and then you have all the automation that you need and then when the thing is finished cooking uh, it ends up in this hopper which then goes into this dropper. So basically I'll just show you what it looks like when that happens. I'll just put a baked potato. Yeah it just does that real quick and basically what 
that is all doing is uh, it enters this dropper. And when it enters this dropper, this activates. And this is a pulse multiplier. As you see, it flashed twice. And when it flashes twice, it uh, basically powers this dispenser twice. And when it does that, it activates these three dispensers. And when it does that, <laughs> it goes, uh, transports that one big potato all the way up and then uh, to these hoppers and then in this dropper. So it's basically just a compact way of making vertical transportation of items without having to use water and stuff like that so it won't make noise uh, or pistons or anything like that. And then you also have these. And this uh, is the inputs attached to the dropper. So basically, like I said, we have, this, we have these baked potatoes. Uh, if we hit this button, it is then transported uh, into this microwave right here that I pushed out of the box. Dang it! <laughs> Anyways, I'll have to fix that. Uh, basically, now we have the microwave, or uh, now we have the baked potato in the microwave, and then the lever is just a clock set up. So if I hit the lever, you can see it just flashes a bunch, and in doing so, it gives us the rest of the baked potatoes. Shut up! <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the entire thing. Another thing also is that when this flashes twice, it uh, puts some fire here and considering it's not on nether rack the fire will go out and that basically uh, automates itself so once all the items are done cooking uh, this will no longer be relighting and it, the fire will go out automatically so when you see no smoke there that means your food is done cooking uh, but yeah now I've destroyed the whole map <laughs> great uh, so I'll have to fix the little minecart thing but other than that uh, that's pretty much it but yeah, that's all I really have for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Of course, it shows support, and it shows that you like these kinds of creations. And of course, subscribe if you're new here. It helps a lot. And I will see you in the next video.